Hello, my name is Jim Pabaru. I worked at the Juvenile Law Center um, in the summer of 1976 after my first year at Penn Law School. Uh, I was a summer intern there and then I was a work study student from the fall of 76 to the spring of 77. Um, I've known Bob Schwartz since I was 17 years old. We go back to college days. And uh, some of my memories at uh, the Juvenile Law Center uh, that are my favorite memories are just sitting around the office with Bob and Marsha and uh, Judy Chomsky and uh, planning our strategy for dealing with cases. I went with Judy to uh, try a case up in Northampton County, a uh, criminal case, and uh, being two newbies, I was still in law school. She was just out of law school. Um, we won a, uh, our case and got a not guilty verdict uh, for our client. Um, I had a wonderful education there as I was um, going through law school, and I really love everybody who was involved with it and think it's a wonderful organization. I've been truly amazed to see the growth of the juvenile Law Center over the years. Uh, Bob and Marsha have done an incredible job turning a place that had snow fencing as decoration in its office to a national, even international organization that has had incredible impact on not only the juveniles it serves, but on the society as lar at large. Because uh, many of these issues involving juveniles really have been swept under the rug and ignored by the press. Bob and Marsha have brought issues concerning juvenile justice to the forefront of everybody's mind, uh, both in this country and around the world. Um, the, their growth and impact has been absolutely astounding. Congratulations to the Juvenile Law Center on its 40th anniversary, and I wish everybody the best of luck, especially Bob in his retirement. Good luck on trying to keep busy, um, and I'll be looking forward to playing some golf with you at some point.